Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna go over some interesting new Blender add-ons. From add-ons that allow you to create vegetation, motion tracking, hair, simulation, and more. In addition to updates of some popular and really good add-ons. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with a very interesting add-on called PF2B. This is especially useful for those who spent lots of time using 3D software because it functions as a bridge between Blender and assets found and created in Plant Factory, which is the property of Eon Software, which has been used by industry veterans for more than 20 years. So you know the quality is great. The add-on allows you to open up a huge collection of high-quality and procedurally generated plants that can be used by everyone. And now, with the PF2B add-on, which is more like a bridge, things are now smoother than ever. So now instead of dealing with manual imports, texture assignments, and material setups, this add-on automates the process. You see, with access to a huge library of presets and plant species, you can populate landscapes, archivist projects, or some environments that need some natural details. And if you've been around long enough, you know that the add-on also gives you options for both low-poly and high-poly models so you can balance visual quality and performance depending on your project. If you've seen this add-on called Alt-Tab Studio, then you know it is a real productivity booster, which now came out of beta as a fully fleshed version. Basically, it is designed to streamline your workflow by gathering a range of useful functions in one place. In other words, you no longer need to hunt through Blender's native menus. Generally, the interface is organized and separated into extended panels that let you easily adjust lighting presets, tweak material lists, and even record camera motions with minimal fuss. And what I really like about it is how the add-on works contextually. It is almost like it's watching your mouse. If you are tired of endless menu searches, the add-on brings all the essential tools together, offering extended panels for lighting, material, and camera motion recording. In addition, it helps with asset management by automatically organizing your outliner, so you can spend less time cleaning up your scene and more time creating. Still with updates, we have Zen UV Update 5.0, and this add-on is one of the best UV unwrapping tools in Blender right now. So, as you can imagine, Zen UV received a new update, with some upgrades that should speed things up and make editing more intuitive. First, we have the touch tool a new gizmo that gives you more control over UV islands. You see, instead of struggling with manual adjustments, you can snap, align, and move things around really quickly. Then there is the auto unwrap, which improves Blender's default option, giving you better results. Not the best there is, but definitely better and cleaner results than Blender's native features. And to keep things flowing, ZenSync makes short selections stay consistent between the 3D view and the UV editor so you are not constantly reselecting things. On top of that, the UI has been a bit reorganized, and this applies to the select panel, introducing the selection of new operators, which identifies problematic areas. There is also new tools for fixing self-intersecting faces, filtering UV islands by properties like height and width, and a trim for better texture mapping. Now, with something different, let's talk about FlexFlow which is a new motion tracking and geometry add-on that makes tracking faster, in addition to being more stable and a bit less of a hassle. It basically introduces an optical tracking method that processes footage better than Blender's native system, while keeping trackers more accurate and less prone to drifting. The add-on includes point-based geometry generation, allowing you to click points in your footage to calculate their 3D positions, making it much less of a chore to set up ground planes and align 3D objects. It also comes with automated tracking filters, in addition to error correction and a custom solver to clean up tracking data. Right now, it works with PNG image sequences and video files. And by the way, there are more formats coming in soon. And since this add-on is new, you might run into some bugs, but the developer is already working on fixes. Also, make sure to open the motion tracking panel manually instead of doing that from the splash screen or some options might not show up. Let's talk about something different with Hair Painter, which is a new add-on that enhances the way to create hair in Blender by letting you sketch out curves that automatically generate hair strands. So, instead of manually placing each strand, you can sketch out busier curves to shape things like eyebrows, eyelashes, beards, and braids. The process is quick, 
and once you've drawn the base, you can tweak the straw density, thickness, growth angle, and even add some frizz to make it look more natural. And the add-on comes with presets for different types of hair. I mean, whether you're working on eyelash, an eyebrow, or a full beard, you have a starting point that you can refine. There are also some extra tools for handling braids, in addition to fine baby hair and even automatic hairline generation, which makes styling really easy. And if you need even more control, you can adjust things like hair curvature, compression, and rotation to get the exact look that you're going for. Another update is for Lazy Forest version 2, which is a big one, making it even simpler for creating realistic forests and natural landscapes inside Blender. So, instead of manually placing every tree, rock, or patch of grass, this add-on accelerates the process while still giving you plenty of control. As you can expect, it works with geometry nodes, so everything stays procedural, meaning you can tweak and adjust your scene without starting over. The add-on comes with forest and plains presets, letting you quickly populate a scene with different types of vegetation. You can also paint directly onto your terrain using white painting, so trees and grass only appear where you want them to. And when it comes to the update, it unspawned unlike creation, making it possible to generate natural looking water features with realistic shorelines. There are also new snowy biome presets if you want to create winter environments and particle effects like fallen leaves or dust for extra realism. In addition, the customization has been improved, with better weight painting controls giving you more precise placement of trees and plants. And the same when it comes to performance, which has been optimized. So even with larger forests, everything can run smoothly, which gives you more flexibility to work on your projects. From the same developer of Lazy Forest, we have a new add-on called Fluid Gate, which is going to help you create animated and static water effects. It is built with geometry nodes, but mainly features normal non-geonode assets, so you have the flexibility to choose what works best when it comes to your scenes. With 300 static presets, it is a quick way to add water elements to concept art, product ads, and even animations. And the add-on includes adjustable settings for color, wave patterns, and material customization, giving you control over your details. Some Geonode's assets can also be scaled and fine-tuned with jitter, density, and intensity settings, making it easier to match the effect to the rest of your scene. Now we're going to talk about animation with an add-on called the Real Motion Pro, which is going to help you simplify animation workflows with smooth motion editing and keyframe management. But what does that mean? The interface is neatly organized into panels that let you quickly adjust camera moves and character animations without getting lost in Blender's native menus. And to make adjustments even better, the add-on includes visual motion tracking aids, which help fine-tune timing and transitions. And since keyframe setup and curve editing are simplified, you don't have to spend as much time on repetitive tasks. And with the latest update, Real Motion Pro expands its support for different rigs, now including Dash Genesis 8 and 9. It also introduces a marker tool to help track loaded actions and a character movement system allowing you to record motion using W, S, and D keys from the keyboard. We also have another add-on called Truss Bridge Generator. This one is a handy add-on for creating detailed truss bridge structures without the usual modeling headaches. It basically lets you generate bridges by simply putting in parameters such as span length, truss depth, and the number of segments. The interface is straightforward guiding you through the process so that you can focus on design rather than technical details, which I think is really important. Adjustments are made in real time, which is a great thing, allowing you to quickly explore different structures, I mean structure variations, until you find the one that fits your project. And the tool is particularly useful for architectural visualization or any scenario where a precise and engineering style bridge is really needed. And as you can see, the results seem solid with detailed truss bridges that can easily integrate into your scenes, even if the project is technical and requires precision. Let's talk about something different with Staircase Generator, which is designed to quickly create staircases that can fit in your scene. It automatically calculates the number of steps based on your specified step height or width, which can be very handy, especially if you're working on some architectural projects. The tool uses Blender geometry nodes for real-time adjustments, making it easy to experiment with different designs. You also get a range of presets, including options for spiral staircases with settings that let you tweak specific parameters. 
However, know that the generator expects a base mesh built with quads rather than angons or triangles, so a bit of preparation might be needed. There is also a new add-on called Organic Add-on, which lets you generate neutral, organic forms procedurally. It automates the creation of dynamic structures, making it useful for adding environments or abstract elements without manual modeling. You can control the shape, density, collision, and detail, allowing for adjustments and integration into your scene. The add-on also includes a ready asset pack with pre-made organic structures that you can drop instantly. And these assets cover plant-like forms, abstract shapes, and natural growth patterns, which are fully procedural and customizable. So instead of starting from scratch, you can tweak these assets to fit your project, saving you time while keeping creative flexibility. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.